Hello everyone, this is Jill Stallmaker with uh, Mecca Music Fest. I am here with Lauren and Lauren and Ben. Uh, we're here at the old laundromat that has been sitting vacant for how long? 30 plus years at this. Wow. Far wow. <laughs> First of all, just tell me a little bit about yourselves, where you're from, if you grew up in Cookville or moved here. I know, Lauren, your parents moved here. They moved, they here. moved here when they were about my age, in their okay. 30s, um, to set up shop temporarily and wound up staying. Had me. I was born and raised here. I left for college for about a decade, 10 years, and then came back, and I've been here ever since. Awesome. So where did you go to college? Went to Maryville College okay. in Maryville, south of Knoxville, and then I went to UT for grad school. Okay. So awesome. Long haul, but <laughs> yeah. And Ben, how about you? I grew up in Knoxville and moved here in April. Awesome. Very cool. And Lauren? And I grew up in Knoxville, spent the past 15 years uh, in, in North Carolina, and then I moved here a couple weeks ago. That's awesome. We are so happy to have y'all here. Cookful is the best. Tell us about this space. What brought you here? I mean, it's a big deal to come in and buy <laughs> the laundromat. There are so many people. I've personally spoken with so many people who have said, oh, I want to buy that building and turn it into this and turn it into that. Mm -hmm. And so I want to hear what it was about this place that, you know, struck your fancy. Uh, well, no surprise, we've gotten that a lot since we kind of purchased the building and have been going through rent, minor renovations. Um, but I think we we didn't have our eyes, we didn't have our sights set on it. We weren't bound and determined to buy it. I just so happened to see a for sale sign one day, and my uh, dad and I and Ben helped a little bit, just finished renovating a home, a really old home, but it was a residence and it was pretty small. Um, but just seeing the for sale sign, I immediately called him and he's like, What's a commercial building? <laughs> it's, just, it's a little bit more work. Right. Um, and, I, and I love stuff like this. Um, so we got into negotiations, talked to realtors, started figuring out what it was going to take to get it. And nice. the moment we decided we wanted it, it was just there was no other option. Yeah. And thankfully, yeah. we were able to work it out. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, and you were telling me uh, a few minutes ago before we started rolling that you would like to get married here. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that and kind of how that played into the decision. Yeah. So we've been engaged for a while. Um, I finally got him to move here. Um, so we were, we, were well, moving forward with, yeah. <laughs> so we were moving forward with plans and I couldn't really find exactly what I was looking for. Again, I, I like kind of this rustic feel, open, lots of light, tall ceilings, older, um, doesn't have to be brand, and, brand new and crisp. And so we walked in unbeknownst to us that this is, was going to be kind of this vision that I've been looking for. Yeah. And I thought, oh my goodness, this is, I want to get married in this. Let's clean it up a bit and just, let's do it. This is perfect. This is what I've been looking for. Yeah. And so that kind of played into the purchase a little bit, but we were already gung-ho on the building. Yeah. Um, Almost all of the plans that we now have for the building that will come to fruition, we had no inclination that that was going to happen when we bought it. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So it's just kind of creatively developed as mm -hmm. you've spent time in the space. Yes. Yes. I mean, y'all yes. are creative, I can tell, and that's, that's how it works, right? Yeah. It's a uh -huh. process and things just kind of continue to evolve. Yeah. I wanted to get married here, and so that kind of became the plan, and then we got a lot of feedback and talked to some people around, and then Lauren got into the picture, who is just all about events, yes. and I thought, well, if, if I like this place, maybe others do as well. Maybe others like the look and the old feel and, you know, the things that we have envisioned for the building, and then it turned into maybe this could be a permanent venue as opposed yeah. to just being an empty warehouse for a minute and then built back to something more standard. For sure, for sure. I've actually talked to several business owners who have that same outlook. You know, I think they finally get to the point where they're like, well, I like it. I like the vision. I think <laughs> yeah. other people will like it too. Yeah. And when you allow yourself to just move forward on that, yes. Um, yes. you know, it. people do like it. Yes, they it do is like scary. It. It it's is scary, scary to go out on a limb like this. You just never know. But right. I think we have we have faith that 
Oh, a hundred percent. I think uh, I think Cookful's going to be really excited to yeah. watch this grow into into your <clears throat> vision for us. I mean, you have a bunch of washing machines in here. Like, <laughs> what are you doing with these washing machines? Are they still this here? Is, uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, I see a few. I see a few. <laughs> we are doing all sorts of things with them. Um, none of them that we know of are operational. I have sold a few of them to people, one in Kentucky and one local artist here bought one for uh, pop-up shoots or pin-up shoots, I'm sorry. A guy in Kentucky bought 10 of them and he's currently getting them back up and running and bought extras because you can't, you can't buy parts for these things anymore. So he bought the ones that he thought looked the best and then bought all of them that were of the same model so he could keep them around and keep parts to keep them up and running. He actually just told you that he's got one running. Mm -hmm. that, <laughs> that's amazing. I'm just thinking just this entrepreneurial, like, that's awesome that you didn't just throw them away. So you have a local artist, Bruce, from the Monkey Wrench that is yeah. going to turn a drum into a chandelier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cannot wait to see that. Yeah, that among other things. Phenomenal. Yeah, he's, right, he's right. taking some other old things, uh, an old couch and some old, not a couch, it's an old car seat because his cars used to be stored here at some point too. Oh, we had all kinds of old stuff and so he's wow. taking it back to the shop and experimenting and we're hoping to get some good fun pieces that'll shed some some light on what it yeah. used to be even once it is gets its big face. Look. Right, and I love that. I know we've mm -hmm. talked quite a bit about how you're going to keep the integrity of the history mm -hmm. of the laundromat and is yeah. it, it's going to be called the laundromat. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that because, I mean, you can see all the cars driving by. Oh, yeah. Like, so many people drive by this place every day. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really a staple in Cookville. Yeah. And I love that you are holding on to the history of this town yeah. and, and, you know, bringing your creative vision to it, for sure. Let's dive into, you know, what you're going to have to offer for people with this place. Um, I know that it's going to be a wedding event space. Yeah. And is there anything else that you're kind of looking for? I know a lot of it will probably evolve. You right. know, just I think it will continue to evolve. So I'm sure what we're about to tell you will change again. Yeah. Um, a small wedding space is kind of more of the goal because we can only, it will only be able to hold about 130. Okay. And so a lot of people like big, big festive events. And so it's not really our main market. Um, it's definitely going to be beautiful for smaller weddings or receptions, things like that. I think, like we've talked to Lauren a lot, who has much a better a better eye for stuff like this, and I know, and she's got a lot of experience in nonprofit, and so we'd love to bring in some nonprofits, hold parties, some a Christmas party, things like that. They can bring some money in for other people, but also kind of showcase the space and, yes. and let it just be what it is. This is a perfect trio. Like I think this is going to be amazing. Well, we originally decided that we wanted to be married here and then it kind of had a domino effect and ended up that we wanted to turn it into an event space and we were just explaining some of our what we kind of thought were pipe dreams at the time mm -hmm. to Rosh and she just started spitting off all these different things we can do this we can do this this space would be amazing for this and I, I love that and yeah. just want to real quick you know, touch on that. Like, I think all three of y'all are entrepreneurs, 100%. But you all have something different mm -hmm. to bring to this vision, you know, and you're working together. And I think that's so important. Entrepreneurs are creative in many, many different ways. And we all have something to offer. And it's, it really just becomes golden mm -hmm. when you find a strong team yeah. and go. Well, I love Cookville, and I love that we got to hold the building, and we're excited. This is a great area. It's kind of like an art district yeah, area. Yeah. It's so exciting. Very so exciting. exciting. We're, we're happy to be part of it. Roast and the pizza machine and Ron. We're going to have the final Friday events, and yep. it's wonderful. Wonderful. Yes. Cool. Well, thank you so much thank for you. letting me come in we and get an inside it. look. And hearing your story, I cannot wait to tell everybody about it. It's great. <laughs> we are so happy to have you here, and thank you. Thank you thank for you. what you're doing for the town. Yeah, the we community. appreciate it.